Hey guys, welcome to another 31 Horror Toys in 31 Days Review. Today we're taking a look at the, I believe this is the Fing Fang Foom Wave, End of Days Hulk. So this figure is not technically horror based, but at the same time, when you behold him, he's kind of horrifying. So, I'm going to call this horror because I've never read the comics, I'm going to be honest, I've never read End of Days comics or anything. But what I'm seeing here is Zombie Hulk. Like, that that's just what he looks like. His skin's ripping away. He's old. You can see muscle underneath there. That's just... See, I'm definitely going to say this is a horror figure, whether you like it or not. And if, if, if even if the story isn't, you can say that the figure itself is horrifying. So, technically, that works. And also, I really wanted to review this guy for a while, but I couldn't really figure out a way to do it. I got him for $3 at a Comic-Con. Stockton kind to be specific, but tell me what you guys think about that. Is, is that a good price for him? I know it is. All right. So, he doesn't come with any uh, accessories. I don't have his Build-A-Figure, and I don't have his package. But as the figure himself, we'll take a look at the sculpt, and then the paint, and then the articulation. So, as you can see from the start, he's got some really messed up sculpt work with just these veins stretching out everywhere. He's got that good... Hulk pissed off look. See that face sculpt up here. Beautiful, beautiful face sculpt. Yeah, it looks like Hulk just aged like quite a bit and then kind of zombified. You can see the muscles sticking out there. A little bit more on the back here. Hair's really receding. But yeah, look at that growl. His teeth are very well sculpted and painted, I will say. You can see each individual tooth. Then the hair is well sculpted, but as for paint, it's kind of just, kind of just the one basic color, no real wash or anything. Then just look at his entire body here. You can see all sorts of wrinkles, and you see, you can see right there, it's like line shading almost. And then he's got all these torn up pieces everywhere. Oh, it's disgusting. Just think, if this were a human, and they had all this on them, they would be in horrible agony. You can just see parts of skin stretched across, barely holding on. And thank goodness, thank goodness, that loincloth can hold on. Because that loincloth is the only thing keeping us from seeing whatever's under there. They even, thank goodness, colored the bottom brown as well. So, you don't have to see any of that good old Hulk business down there. And as you can see on the other side, it's just as well sculpted, but it, I think this arm's a little less damaged looking. You can see there's some on the shoulder and then some on the forearm, but... For the most part, this arm's kind of good. He's got one strong fist pose, which the fist is freaking huge. Compare that to his head. That's bigger than his freaking head. Just look at that. I like it. You can see his knuckles up here. Great sculpt work on it. He's got his fingernail there. Oh, and for Charmus for Prime, there you go. There's his toes. I'm sure you've seen this figure before. Probably owns like five of them. But anytime he watches a review, he likes to see them toes, don't he? I don't, I don't understand the foot fascinations that some people have. Uh, I'm not going to say it's, like, disgusting or anything. It's just, I don't I don't get it. it it's feet. Feet all look kind of the same to me. I guess some people's feet are more disgusting than others, but I don't know. Look at that hand there. This is a nice grasping hand, so he's, like, reaching for something. I kind of wish he had a gripping hand and then a fist hand or just two fist hands because if he's fighting, we're not going to see too much of a claw or grab so much. We're not going to see too much of just one fist working while the other is just kind of that. I feel like two fists is usually the usual for Hulk. Or we could have those articulated hands where it can be a fist or an open hand, you know, fist or an open hand. I did that opposite. And then he's got his nice ripped abs down there. Not as ripped as you'd expect with the Hulk, really. I mean, think about it. The guy looks kind of nice, but he's aging, so his abs are not what they used to be. It's got the lines all over, and there's a nice shading here. You can see there's a dark green, and they put a light green brush on top of that, and it just creates this nice depth to them. It creates this, I don't know, it just really accentuates the sculpt. Very well done. On the arms, it's not as well painted as the torsos, but it kind of, it kind of melds together somehow. Even though this is differently colored from this, you can't really tell too well. Then at the legs, you can see he's all sorts of messed up. Got all them muscles there. 
Oh boy. Just every time I see that, it's kind of disgusting. Just throw some blood paint on, like, his mouth here. You could easily make this a zombie hole. Just think about it. Alright, so as for the sculpt and paint, I will say he passes with flying colors. He looks amazing. And what does it say down there? Hasbro, 2008. So this is the 2008 End of Days Hulk. Amazing. Alright, so now let's talk about the articulation. Since this is a Marvel Legends, of course articulation is not going to be too bad, but it's... It could always not be as good as other Marvel Legends, so let's see. Starting with the head, he does a full 360. He can look up about that much. He can look down that much, quite a bit. And then at the shoulder, full 360. He can move outward that much, which is like a way... That's way above what the usual figure can do. That's far from a right angle to his body. Then at the bicep, he has a swivel, which is kind of awkward to work, but it can go full 360. Then at the elbow, full 360, he can bend backwards, bend forwards, look at that. And then at the freaking wrist, full 360, as well as a uh, hinge that moves outward and inward. It does have ratchet joints, you may notice. That's the, what sounds like his knuckles are breaking or something. And that keeps him a little bit more solid. That articulation does work pretty well. Let's see. The other arm's pretty much the same to every degree. I think his elbow bends slightly more on this side. He doesn't get much elbow bend, though. Just look at that. It, it can barely bend. Whereas in the other direction, it kind of does the same amount of bend. So you could break his arm for some reason. And then, of course, he has the wrist articulation there. So you got the waist here. Or I guess that would be the ab crunch. He can kind of swivel but it doesn't hold too well he can move forward and move backward and then nothing at the waist like right at the hips but then of course at the crotch hips he can move outward but it's the y joint so he can move outward in a splits position but then to kick forward you have to shift the leg sort of because there's not let me show you an example as you can see cyclops here has this articulation where you can kick forward and kick out to the side simultaneously like it doesn't matter you don't have to twist anything but with this guy you can see there's a lot of articulation lacking there to do that and especially with this loincloth here you've got to finagle it so that he's kind of in an awkward position but yeah so this is where his knee should be but then to get it like that his knee is suddenly over here so I think you get that the full 360 spin at the knee yeah he can bend to Almost a 90 degree angle, like quite a bit shy. And then we've got ankle articulation. Gosh, it sounds like he's breaking his, he's breaking something every time. See, his ankles can move down and up. And unfortunately, no ankle pivot, because this is early Marvel Legends Hasbro. So Marvel Legends took a few dives. First, there was the original Has, uh, Toy Biz stuff, which was a bit awkward and not very well detailed and all that then there was the late toy biz stuff which was pretty good everything was very well articulated very well designed and then we got the early hasbro which once hasbro bought out toy biz we got this sort of stuff which you know it's kind of subpar a lot of them were hit and miss and then we got the later hasbro which everyone knows is awesome now and this is in that early Hasbro area. So, would I recommend getting this guy? For a reasonable price, I would. As for uh, if you like the story, I would say definitely pick him up, I guess. If you like the Hulk in the story, too. But for me, I just... I wouldn't recommend getting this guy over any other Hulk unless you could get him for a good price. I think the going price for him is maybe $40, $50. Get him for $20, $25... That's definitely a reasonable price. It's Marvel Legends price. But, uh, I don't know. It's It really has to do with your preference on the look, I suppose. And I'm not a huge fan of the look so much. But I do like how freaky he is at the same time. So, he's, a, he's one of those kind of good, kind of bad figures for me. So, would I recommend him? Yeah, I guess I would. So anyway, guys, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.